All right, for this drawing, I'm completing figure 354, the shim. Starting my sketch on the front. Going normal to and turning on my constraints. I'm going to use the center rectangle. So I have symmetry from left to right, top to bottom. And the overall size of this is 7.5 by 4.5. I can apply the dimensions before or after. I'll extrude at one as there's no set thickness. Now there are chamfers on all four sides. Chamfer has to be done in 2D, sorry, in 3D. So I'm selecting chamfer. And we know the distance and the angle of this one. So I'm choosing distance and angle. And my distance is one plus one divided by eight. And my angle is 60. So now I'm going to rotate and select the edge. Now if the fillet goes in the wrong direction, like mine is, sorry, chamfer, choose the opposite direction and it will rotate it. So now I'm going to go around and select all four. If one goes in the wrong direction, you're going to have to just add in a second chamfer. So now I'm creating the rectangular cut in the center. So I'm going normal to, and I'm choosing the center rectangle again to use these wake up constraints, and this is two and an eight. So two plus uh, one divided by eight, or 2.125. My dimension is the same over here, 2.125. All right, so translate rotate is hidden underneath one of these tools. Here we go. So it's transform. It's hidden underneath the linear pattern. And you're going to select the entities that you want. Choose your center. And then choose what you want to do. This is for translating. Here is for rotating. So I'm going to left click and drag this. Type in my 45 degrees. Left click and locks it in. So now I could extrude. And I'm removing going through all. I always recommend using through all. If you change the size of this part, it will continue to keep that hole going through. And now for the last part, I need a corner rectangle cut out on each side. The total size is one by one and a half, so one by five by one. And it is centered. So what I'm going to do is use construction line and symmetry versus applying a dimension. If you select these three lines, you need to have a construction line for this to work. And then choose your constraint of symmetric. It will apply this dimension for you. So if I were to change the size of this, no matter what, it's always going to remain symmetric. I need the same information on the opposite side, so I'll use a construction line and mirror this geometry from one side to the other. Selecting mirror, choose your mirror line, highlight your geometry, and extrude, remove, through all. And that completes 354.